Hey everyone and welcome back to How to Spend It. Today we are going to be talking about the 10 lessons rich parents teach their children. You won't believe number one. But before we get onto that, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us a lot and lets us know that we are helping to enrich lives out there. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Number 10, understanding how money works. As we grow up, our parents often believe that there are specific lessons we should know by the time we are grown adults. This could be how to change the oil in the car to balancing a checkbook. Rich parents may have a different set of lessons they wish to share as they know their children will face different challenges than those who do not have as much in their pocket. One of the first lessons we are looking at is the idea of understanding how money works in the world. Have you ever been one to ask why you are paid the amount you are or how you can improve your finances? These types of questions are encouraged for the younger generation to ask to know what is coming along as they work and earn. This will help them to understand the concept of value to the amount that is earned and realize that it can be difficult to earn that paycheck. Number 9. Assets versus Liabilities have you ever received your paycheck and thought, great, now I can go buy that new shirt I saw? When rich parents receive their earnings for the hard work they put in, they tend to look beyond what can create gratification in the short term. They see the amount and teach their children to search for an asset that will help to continue in creating their wealth. This could be the idea of purchasing a second home and renting it out to others, allowing it to build passive income. Now, we aren't saying they only go for the assets and never have any fun, but by buying assets, the money earned from them can buy that new coat or new car. If you have to eventually sell the new car, revenue is still being earned from the assets. This is different from a liability such as immediately buying cash for that new car. The car requires you to pay out and gives nothing in return. It's nice to have those things, but wealthy families teach their children to first have assets that will help provide additional purchasing power. Wait until number 6 for a shock though. Number 8. Invest Continuing with the idea of an asset, rich parents encourage their children to take what they earn and invest it. This could be taking the $5 they earned from mowing the lawn and putting it into something that will help their accounts grow. Researching the different options out there, the parents advise to invest the money in what the child knows or is even interested in. If you enjoy what you are investing in, you are more apt to be dedicated and look at all angles to earn the money. This can range anywhere from baseball cards to the stock market. Unsure of what you like? Don't be afraid to ask or try new things. Number 7. Being sociable and connecting with others it's a big world out there and in the 21st century we've become more sociable than ever with different media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter. While the latest generation may be one to hold tight to the different electronics, rich parents look to have their children interact with others even before their school year start. This can have a snowball effect with the result of getting along with other children, earning playdates, and as the children get older, the ability to get along with others will help open doors when it comes to school and even job positions. Don't be afraid to have the children play, since holding them back from interacting with others can have a negative impact on their health as well as future endeavours. Number 6. Money is a tool Did you think that the money you earned was just some coins and bills? While they may be both of these things, the rich find to teach their children that these two objects are a tool that can work for them. The rich show their children that the coins and bills can help them improve their lives through material purchase, like assets mentioned previously. If you look at the money you have as being personal rather than a tool that can help generate more, then the amount you have will never grow and create that nest egg you want so much. Wait for number three, it's a shocker. Number five, knowledge is more valuable than money in the long run. We are halfway through the list of what the rich teach their children. Have any of the points planted a seed in your mind to teach your own? If not, we have a few more points to go over. Our number five spot is the idea that knowledge is more valuable than money overall. Now there are some who might think this has to do with reading and storing the information for later use. What we mean about this point is being able to build or invest in yourself so that you become an asset, there's that word again, to the company and those around you. If you are able to show those you work with or interact with that you have a worth that can benefit them, they will realize that you can solve a problem they might have or fill a position that needs a leader and thinker. Proving to others will allow you to get farther than money will. Number 4. Solving Problems 
It could be as simple as picking up a pencil that has fallen from your desk but is just out of reach. If you are able to see the problem before you, you may realise you are not the only one who has that problem. The rich teach their children that one of the ways of getting rich is by seeing a problem that affects more than those within the home and build a solution that many will want to use in the end. Providing this solution will help to relieve some stress the masses may find they are having from the issue and put coin in your pocket. It is very similar to supply and demand. The public demands a solution for their problem that they cannot find on their own and you are the one to supply it for a price. Never be afraid to look at the problems from all angles to find that sorely needed solution. Number 3. Using good debt instead of bad debt. Here we are with the top three of the lessons. Our next point to look at is the idea of using good debt versus bad debt. There is a difference you ask? In this case, there is. The rich teach their children that if you are going to go into debt, then it should be for borrowing money that will help you earn money. For example, taking out a loan that will help start a business that ultimately earns back the money borrowed and more. This is considered good debt, while taking credit cards for a new TV or clothes can be viewed as bad, as it does not generate any earnings to help you in the end. Wait until number one for a real surprise. Number 2. Success isn't free. As rich children grow, they have the perks with the help from their parents' money that less fortunate children may not have. It could mean a new pair of shoes instead of the same ones from last year. While the children have these perks, the parents teach them that the success they have to get those shoes did not come free or at the drop of a hat. We don't mean that it cost them money for success, but instead, time. They make sure their children understand that there can be hours put into the success, trial and error to find the right sequence. It could mean long nights and lots of missed meals. We know this can be a hardship at times and it might put strain on the family life, but teaching children that you have to work for success will help them not only when they are adults but in their life along the way. Here we are, our number one spot. Number one, having money doesn't make you a better person it just solves some problems. There are some figures that we know who have more money than they know what to do with and are pretty simple people. Daddy Warbucks from Annie and even Uncle Scrooge from DuckTales. This is not always the case and the rich ensure that their children know this. To avoid being someone who is viewed as snotty simply for having money, humility and modesty are taught to children as the parents know the flip side of that coin is not always the best. Well guys, that's it for this video. Click the links above to check out some of our other videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. We have many great videos coming up. See you in the next video.